Hello everyone, welcome to the Brain Boost channel. So today we're going to be talking about eco-geographic rules. So let's just jump right in. So when we're talking about eco-geographic rules, we are basically talking about patterns of variation that we see in animal populations um, based on their geography and how this is linked to the climate of that geography. So we're going to notice in a bit, we're going to see some uh, patterns and we're going to notice how animals tend to have different appearances based on whether they live more north or south. So three rules we're going to look at today are Bergman's rule, Gogler's rule, and Allen's rule. So let's just start with Bergman's. Okay, starting with Bergman's rule. So Bergman's rule states that animal populations in northern regions uh, tend to be larger in size compared to populations of the same species in southern regions. So we're going to look at a wolf in this example. So we're looking at a wolf that is up north in the top image because it's snowy. We can tell that it's up north versus a wolf that is further south. And we can see a size difference between the two. The top is a lot thicker, fatter. It's more robust animal than the one on the bottom. And the question here is why? Why do we see this pattern? So the answer has to do with the relationship between volume and surface area. Okay, so an object or an animal that is small has a, basically it has a higher surface area compared to volume. So it has a high surface area to volume ratio, okay? Whereas if you look at a larger animal, such as the one in the north, okay, it has a smaller surface area compared to volume. So the ratio, surface area to volume, is, uh, is, a, is a smaller ratio compared to the one down south. So if you're in the north, the fact that you have less surface area relative to your volume is helping you in the north because it means that you aren't going to lose as much heat. You're conserving your heat. Whereas the wolf down south has a higher surface area to volume, it's going to lose a lot of heat because you have more surface. There's, It's a larger surface compared to its volume to keep it warm, so it's going to lose more heat. But the fact that it's in the south um, permits this because it's it's a lot warmer in the south, so it can afford to lose more heat. Next up is Gogler's rule. So Gogler's rule states that darker pigmented animal populations are going to be found in hotter or more humid climates. So if we look at this image here on the left side, we see two animal examples, a sort of bird species and a rabbit, and they are darker in their pigmentation as opposed to the right images of them where they do not seem to be in humid and hot environments. See this rabbit here is a lot paler in what seems to be a colder environment. So once again, why do we see this pattern? And for pigmentation, how we answer this is that darker pigmentation, which we know is a result of melanin, is what provides protection for the animal in humid, hot environments. So um, pig dark pigmentation or melanin actually provides protection against bacterial infections and bacteria and bacterial infections tend to be uh, more common in humid hot environments so this is why they tend to be darker in these areas okay so lastly we have Allen's rule so Allen's rule states that animal populations in northern regions tend to be shorter and they have thicker appendages and extremities. And if you look at the same species, but the southern population of it, they tend to be thinner with longer appendages and extremities. So here we're going to look at this rabbit. So if we start here on the very left, this rabbit is going to represent our northern rabbit 
which is a lot smaller, or I should say shorter. It has its forelegs and hind legs are very short. It has a short tail. It has short ears compared to the representation of our southern rabbit. Here, this rabbit is, it's a lot slimmer than the one on the left there. It has longer legs. It has a longer tail. It has longer ears. So it's slimmer and longer all like throughout its anatomy. And once again, the explanation for this is the same as uh, it also has to do with the loss of heat, just like in Bergman's rule. So in this case, the southern rabbit can afford to lose more heat. So it has a higher surface area to volume ratio compared to the northern rabbit, which wants to preserve its heat in the north. So that's that for today's uh, video topic. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, as well as leaving a comment below with any other questions related to today's topic or any other future videos that you'd like to see from Brain Boost.